Raiden. Shall I activate your pain inhibitors now? No. Keep them off. I need it this way. Ah, uh, well, as you wish. I must say, I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs. But you... Well, your past is most... Uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military. Grown men. Compared to the average third world child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look, just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. <laughs> Well, Boris, that's Jack. What did you think? I read that only one in 50 soldiers can kill with zero hesitation. Guess I'm a two percenter, huh? <laughs> I know what they went through, yeah. But I sure as hell didn't let it stop me. No, I guess not. Regular guys, they couldn't handle it. All the blood and body parts, the fear and dying eyes. Me, though, I like it. A lot. No hesitation. No regrets. Maybe it's in my blood. Maybe it's the Sears program. Probably both. The younger you learn a thing, the better you retain it, you know? I remember Liberia like it was yesterday. All the abuse. The threats at gunpoint. Next thing I know, I'm getting off on cutting guys to shreds. Raiden. But afterwards... Afterwards it was tough. Especially once I got to the U.S. I got counseling and education. But every time I talked with someone normal, I felt like all the killing I'd done was gonna crush me. And it didn't stop. Not in my dreams, anyway. I'd hear voices at night, calling out all my crimes. But I couldn't shut them out. The rest of my crew adapted to American life well enough. But I... I never could. Mm. And it returns only now. I've always known you have a uh, dark part in your mind. Perhaps I should not have hired you at all. Perhaps you should not be near Battlefield. The hell with that. If I hadn't signed up, I wouldn't be here to help put an end to this. I gotta do what I can to stop that VR training. I'm not the only one suffering. I need to do this for my old friends. The boys back in Liberia who didn't survive. I survived all the killing, thrived on it. But the experience destroyed them. Duh. Sorry. I better get moving. They're pouring in from everywhere. This is crazy. Do not have to fight every enemy you encounter, right? Try and keep moving! <laughs> nice of them to blow open the door for me, yeah? <laughs> Idiots. in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Keep climbing, 
like that. It will be much easier for you. Gold Rider, yes! Right away is up now, yeah? Almost there. I have just finished analyzing the latest security data. You should find an indoor garden up ahead. A garden? Sounds fancy. A Japanese garden, to be precise. It is an area set aside for VIPs. Apparently, one of World Marshal's directors is a rather serious Japanese culture enthusiast. All right. So what's this got to do with me? Is there something I need from the garden? Not at all. You need only pass through that area to arrive at a freight elevator. I found a route to the elevator controls through the unit we hijacked downstairs. I have located the server room as well. You can reach it via the freight elevator. Great work, Doc. Elementary, my dear Raiden. Now, head for the garden. Yes! Oh, I had no idea they were so close to our perpetual energy source. Fascinating!
The main exit is sealed. I very much doubt you can get through there. The catwalk above you is connected to a corridor meant for transporting materials. You can take that to the elevator. Catwalk straight ahead to reach the elevator. <laughs> 